Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today I'm going to share with you the handbags I'd like to borrow from my fellow YouTubers. Now I don't think this is an actual tag video, but Nick J Snell put out a video a couple of weeks ago about the handbags that he would like to borrow from other YouTubes and he wanted to borrow my Balenciaga over there. There she is. Boop. And uh, I've said, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can borrow that. You can borrow that anytime you like, babe. Um, it got me thinking, though, what are the handbags I would like to borrow from my fellow YouTubers? Now, I can find something I'd like to borrow out of everyone's collection, not collection, whatever you want to call it. I could find something with anyone. So I tried to keep this list from being 30 or 40 handbags long by saying it's the bags that as soon as I saw them I went, oh, I love it. I love it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> yes, I'd like a bit of that, please. So I'm going to start off with Nick because he's borrowing a bag of mine, therefore I shall borrow a bag of his and the bag that I would like to borrow of his is his most recent acquisition, it is the Mulberry Alexa in, I can't remember the name of the print, uh, but the sort of the pinks and the purples, that bag is gorgeous, it is absolutely gorgeous, I loved it when it first came out in the kind of 2010, 2011, 2012 kind of time frame. Um, I didn't buy it at the time. I was into many, many other mulberry things at that time. I didn't buy that particular bag because I wasn't that much of a fan of the Alexa. I love the look of it, but I find it a little bit faffy with the little buckly bits and the thing and then the buckle and all of that stuff. So um, it wasn't for me, but I would like to borrow it for the day because it looks so, so good. And I think it would make me look so, so good. So Nick, if you're gonna borrow my Balenciaga, if I could borrow your Mulberry, that would be great. If you are new to my channel, then I am Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. And if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms, get down there, hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my luxury based shenanigans. Show the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on Instagram right who's next <laughs> the next one's quite interesting for me because it is a bag that i have admired from afar as in a general style but i don't think it's for me and this particular one that i want to borrow i don't think the even even the design of it is for me but i just can't get it out of my head and it is caitlin palowski's embroidered um lady dior Wow. Wow. What a bag. I remember her unboxing that video. Unboxing. I remember her unboxing video and I think it was one of the first videos of Caitlin's I ever watched and I went, damn, that is a gorgeous bag. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's my style. I don't know if it's my style. I'd like to try and find out. So, Caitlin, I'll be expecting that in the post, thank you very much. I know it's not easy because you're based in Australia and everything. Speaking of based in Australia and everything, Dale of Dale's Addiction, she has one or two bags, maybe five, that I would actually like to just take off her completely. But the one that I would love, 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 love to borrow is her caramel and multicolour baguettes. That bag is gorgeous. Now, I could have cheated because um, she's got that one. I think Meredith has got that one as well. Amelia Rose has that one and Caitlin Pulowski has that one as well. So it is a very, very popular style, type of the baguette, but I think Dale was the first one I saw it. Yeah, I saw with it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, hello. <laughs> We're going to stay with my Antipodean friends for a little bit longer and this one I'm going to say sorry Dale as I introduce Mel and Melbourne's Pearl Chanel, I believe it's the rectangle mini. 
I know, I know, I know this bag has been described once or twice as possibly a sort of craft project and I see that, I can see that. But I also dig it. I dig it very, very hard. I think it is a beautiful bag. It is not worth the money. No, no, no. What I would like to do is I'd like to borrow it from Mel. Mel, thank you very much. You're too kind to your subscribers. Um, and I'd just like to play with it for a bit. I'd like to take it out for dinner. I've got the perfect shoes to go with it. They've got pearls and beading and stuff on them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I bet it's quite heavy, that one, though. Yes, and uh, again, still sticking down under. <laughs> um, the next bag is a recent addition to Meredith of Living Lux of Meredith. It is her Fendi made to order baguette with those glorious, glorious discs made up of discs, made up of white, blue, and red, and they're kind of opaquey discs. They, it reminds me a little bit, and this is in a good way before anyone gets upset with me, it reminds me a little bit of those um, glasses that you used to put on to watch 3D movies and things, to look at 3D things. Love it! It is such a beautiful, different, unusual bag. I, I just think it is brilliant. So Meredith, top marks for designing it and uh, friendly top marks for making it for you. Yeah. Wow, we honestly, I've, am I halfway through? I am more than halfway through, but like I said, I mean, I could find one, <laughs> at least one out of everyone's collection, not collection. Okay, next up, I'm gonna come a little bit closer to home. Uh, by a little bit closer to home, I do mean the States, and that is Lux Petite Jamie. I've asked you several times, when are you going to send me that damn Oreo Chanel 19? Oh my god, I'm not into tweed. I'm really not into tweed. I'm not into tweed in a big way. But that bag, that Oreo, as soon the first time I saw the Oreo Chanel 19, I was like, okay, okay, maybe I can do tweed. Maybe I am a tweed girl. Maybe tweed is what I need. I feel the need the need for tweed i'm so sorry people i'm so sorry i told you these are the bags that got me really kind of <gasps> excited and oh my god i need them i love them i love them so uh yeah jamie anytime you're ready you just pop it over uh that'd be great okay who have we got next we have got mini we've got minx for all and hers is just it would be the perfect match for my cashmere jumper jump jumper jump it is her bubblegum pink mini rectangle chanel oh oh it's so cute it is so cute i love that bag it is honestly i can see me top to toe top to toe top to toe in this shade of pink <gasps> Yes, please. Okay, couple more. Where are we? Done, 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 done. Ah, uh, moving even closer to home, Amelia. Amelia Rose. She has a lot of bags I love. Love her capucines, her mini capucines. They're really, really cute. That dark, hot fuchsia with a little malachite LV. Mwah. But it is not that. It is not that at all. It is, of course, her pink Hermes Birkin, because that is, I think, the exact specification that I would like my Birkin to be in. I think. I am just can't decide if I'd want to go with the Rose Mexique pink shade, which is just slightly lighter and brighter, but I'm not one to quibble over such a small detail. It is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I loves it, I loves it, I do. Okay. <laughs> I actually stand a chance of getting my hands on that one because she's not that far away from me. <laughs> um, the last YouTuber whose bag I would like to borrow is, you may be surprised I've not mentioned her already, it is the almighty Cassie Thorpe. 
Cassie two dollar signs. She has probably my favourite collection on YouTube. It's not vast, it's large, but it's not vast. But the range, girl knows what she likes and I'm here for it. Um, and in actual fact, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to borrow one bag from Cassie. I'm not borrowing two bags from Cassie. I'm not even going to borrow three bags from Cassie. I'm going to borrow four bags from Cassie and they're all green. Say so what now? I've just been extolling the virtues of pink and now I'm hitting up the green. <laughs> that was not planned. That was just sitting there from when I was highlighting my list. Um, okay, let's start off with probably the bag that made me first think, oh, maybe I would like a Birkin after all. After thinking, do you know what? a little bit boring, a little bit old lady, all of those things, all of those things. And I realised I just hadn't seen them in the right colours for me. And so when Cassie Thorpe unveiled her bright green Birkin, my head was somewhat turned. Beautiful. It is a beautiful classic bag, in classic shape, beautifully made, beautifully detailed but in a colour that is, it's, it's punchy. It is punchy. It is exactly how I feel about my pink McQueen. That is a really classic, almost grown up style bag, but it is in hot pink. So <laughs> a little bit different. And I love that. So Cassie, thank you very much. It is entirely your fault that I've changed my mind on the Birkin and would like to have one. The next green bag from Cassie is, and I'm gutted about this one, because I coulda, I coulda, woulda, shoulda, but I couldn't at the time, actually, so I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It is the Nano Fendi Baguette, the little green one with the lilac and the oversight, oh, and the cross, oh my god. I don't think I was even looking at Fendi at the point where Cassie unboxed that one. And as soon as she unboxed it, I was like, oh, it's everything. It's everything. And at the time I wasn't working, so I wasn't generating an income and it was only £600, but that was £600 that was outside of my reach. And I watched it on the Fendi website every damn day until it went out of stock. I am gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. I did find one once on Vestiaire Collective, but the idiot, idiot, wanted like two grand for it, so forget that. Um, but yes, that's probably one of the first bags that made me think about Fendi at all. Obviously it's a nano bag. I wasn't entirely certain about the validity of having a nano bag. And now I have three nano uh, baguettes and I think they're absolutely wonderful. So that was <laughs> another green bag that um, I would like to borrow from Cassie. Thank you very much, seeing as I didn't get the opportunity to buy it when I had the chance, I wasn't able to. The next <laughs> green bag from Cassie is from the men's collection. And there have been a lot of discussions recently on the YouTubes about whether handbags and collections and clothing and ready to wear and all of that should be gendered. Just pop in my tuppence worth. No, I don't think it should. I think it should be, this is the designer, this is their ready to wear selection and this is their bag selection, this is their shoe selection. <gasps> oh, I'm not used to having, having to have lighting back up but we've reached that time of year where five o'clock the sun goes down and here I am in let's face it shit lighting <laughs> conditions <laughs> it is from the men's collection and it is the extra small is it the excess keeple in that green with the kind of it's kind of green predominantly green but with like really bright turquoise blue undertones to it as well that gorgeous gorgeous bag apparently 
really really usable as well i know of some other people on the youtubes who have that style of bag have it in the monogram or eclipse and they've said how great a bag it is but yeah that blue oh yes pop any kind of outfit of the day with that it is absolutely glorious and the fourth and final bag i would love to borrow from cassie thorpe the mighty cassie thorpe is her Bottega Veneta Miss Chlorophyll. Yes, her mini Jodie in that crinkled up metallic green. It is, I saw it and I was like, jaw, floor, hello, make yourselves acquainted because we're going to be seeing a lot of each other. That bag is utterly, <laughs> it speaks to me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm digging the neons. I love my neons, I like my bright colours don't have enough. I have some, I don't have enough yet. Um, but that bag, oh, utterly, utterly gorgeous. Nick, thank you for borrowing my Balenciaga and encouraging me to check out my fellow YouTubers and see what I would like to borrow from their collections, their stables, their vaults. Mm. Let me know in the comment section down below if there are any bags on this list you think, mm, actually, no, I disagree. I don't think that's a great bag. You could have borrowed XYZ instead. Honestly, I could have gone on four hours on this. I could go through every YouTuber I've ever watched and I would find something that they have that I'd like to get my grubby little paws on. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do show it the... Thumbs up, love, and until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan-dabby-dozy, and bye bye